question, next question, right here in the front. Hi, so, can you please stand up so the folks in the back can hear as well? Sure. I'm Michael Spitzer Rubenstein from Columbia, and no movement is perfect in every way, and the drug policy movement isn't an, an exception. What do you disagree about with the broader drug policy movement? All right, what do you disagree with about the broader drug policy movement? 30 seconds for response. <laughs> this, this is something I talk about actually quite a bit, and I think I've talked to a bunch of you about. Um, I feel like rhetoric and the unintended consequences of what you're saying um, propagates a lot of issues with drug policy and people, how they view drug policy, especially, especially in the Midwest, when people you know, hear the term legalization and assume immediately it means having it in a gas station. And that's one of the types of issues I feel like we can address and we really should be addressing. So I would actually have to say diversity. Um, so on a national level, we're very, I think we've become very, very sophisticated about the way that we're approaching diversity. However, on a chapter level, I've noticed that a lot of chapters have issues with, be, with members being incredibly racially insensitive, being incredibly insensitive towards potential chapter members or even people who come to tables who might be more affected by the drug war than they are because of their racial stance. Well, I think there's a problem like where the way we see ourselves, like the the most of the people in, in like this type of activism is like consumers and we see ourselves our, our degree we, we like have to respect I don't think I don't know how to say like like to to make our voice heard beside or, or despise what we are consumers. I think that that's the main problem in this activism. Uh, well, I really see the importance of the image, and uh, I think there's a lot of weight in the cliche that first impressions really do last. In Ireland, we began as legalized cannabis Ireland, and what it just resulted in was a load of you know, young people just in hoodies and stuff, but they're not going to be the people to, 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 to cause a revolution. So I think uh, since the emergence of students for sense of drug policy, and since we put in you know, a code that you, know, you can't, you, know, you have to dress just, you know, well and whatever, and present yourself well, uh, I think we've really achieved more in the last year than we have uh, with the entire LCI movement before. I don't, I don't know how much this is a disagreement with the broader broader movement, but just you know, something that sometimes is frustrating or um, you know, I feel it could be improved upon. But you know, we've gotten really good at um, you know at talking and at coming up with plans and, and being able to to convince each other. Uh, but I think part of it is, is going to be um, taking concrete actions to to get things changed politically. And I think you know obviously that's something we've been trying to do, but I think that's still uh, an area that needs to be. Um, a greater focus. I agree with uh, with Jeremy as well, uh, and also Graham about messaging, rhetoric, uh, the image that we get. Um, I think that all too often we kind of use the same message in different regions, and and that doesn't necessarily work. Uh, in the South, like I said earlier, is something uh, talking about drug policy in the South is different than talking about in the Northeast and the West Coast, and and you know the Southeast. Uh, so I think that that's something that we need to we need to definitely work on making sure that chapters have that kind of support so that they understand you know how to uh, the rhetoric they use and how they approach the issue. Thank you. Um, so touching on what, what Graham was saying, uh, my personal belief is that in order to successfully move forward uh, into a professional drug policy um, reform movement that is looked at without a certain stigma, uh, stigmatized manner, um, is we need to incorporate those individuals who are trying to find some way to express their anger, maybe through non-productive means like going out and smoking in front of a courthouse, to finding means, means of direct uh, action through policy that can be effective. Yeah.